don't even want to be here. <sighs> I'm not trying to be dramatic, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Yay! Today is a Sunday, and you guys know what that means. It's Sunday reset time. Because it's a Sunday, I want to freaking deep clean my entire apartment because I'm not gonna lie, the past couple weeks I've been a little lazy and I haven't been cleaning my place. So it's very freaking dirty right now. It's like, it's disgusting. You guys might be wondering why the hell am I so looking so cute when I'm about to clean? And the thing is, when I'm looking good, it actually motivates me, which means I'll do better at cleaning. That's just my mentality. So I put on this cute white linen dress and let me tell you, if you want to feel like the it girl, if you want to feel hot and sexy, I suggest you to put on some makeup, wear a white linen dress, and just clean. And every time you walk by every mirror in your home and you just look cute while cleaning, it just motivates you even more. So that's the whole point of me just being dressed up today. <gasps> Sorry, there's a piece that I didn't curl. It's gonna bother me if I don't curl it. I curled my hair. Now that I'm looking cute, let's get started with cleaning. really enjoying my coffee slash chai tea. I put a little bit of coffee and then chai. And I think this is called dirty chai. Recently discovered it and I love it so much because I get best of both worlds. Cheers. Mm, so good. Seeing my plates right now is giving me anxiety and I can't wait to clean right now. Pinky up. Dishes time, yay! Putting on my Asian rubber gloves to protect my hands. Okay, I just finished deep cleaning my sink and I poured baking soda and vinegar all over my sink and I'm just gonna let it sit because this gets rid of all the funky smell that you get inside a sink. So just gonna let that sit for a little bit and in the meantime, I'm gonna clean my countertop because it's a mess right now.
Ty gets my couch so dirty, so I'm gonna sticky everything up. Just finished tidying up my living room and my kitchen area and I already feel so much better. I can finally breathe now. I feel like I'm being so dramatic right now, but seriously guys, but I'm not done yet guys. This is just the beginning. I still have a lot more to do. Right now, I'm gonna get started on mopping and vacuuming my floor. My floors get so dusty so easily, so I have to be constantly vacuuming, which is so annoying. But luckily, I have my handy dandy Robo Rock. This is my Robo Rock. My my little handy dandy robo rock is the best purchase on earth it has helped me tremendously in so many different ways it does all the cleaning for me i just have to sit back and relax and it cleans for me so thank you robo rocks for sponsoring today's video yay i recently upgraded from the robo rock s7 to the robo rock s7 max ultra i love that the s7 max ultra has all-in-one maintenance free features like self-drying self-washing self-emptying self-refilling self-cleaning and self-charging so you don't have to. Right now I'm running the vacuum and I love it because the S7 Max Ultra has 5,500 PA extreme suction, which is the second highest suction power among all the Roborock robot vacuums so far. And it's made with all rubber brush, so it cleans fast without any hair tangles. And with the structured light in front, reactive tech obstacle avoidance system can help the robot vacuum detect and avoid common obstacles on the floors. After I vacuum, I set it so that the Roborock mops automatically for me. It scrubs the floor at 3,000 times per minute, which removes dried stains 30% more effectively than traditional robot mops. Not to mention, this also has a five millimeter mop lift, which avoids cross contamination and mops the floors and vacuums the carpet in one go. The self washing for the mop is actually incredible. As you can see here, I'm emptying out the dirty water that the mop used for cleaning and refilling the other tank with clean water. This also has a self drying for the mop and dock base. As you can see, it's completely dry afterwards. The best part of it all is that I can control all of this through my phone. There's a quick mapping feature where the robot vacuum maps each level of the home super detailedly to get the best best possible clean. Then you can customize the maps where to clean and how to clean. There's also a deep carpet cleaning setting which cleans the carpet twice in one task for better cleaning performance. Cleaning the mirror time. I didn't get good sleep at all. I think I slept five hours. I couldn't fall asleep until like 3 a.m. Woke up at like nine and I'm like exhausted right now. These days my sleeping schedule has been pretty bad because I had this like late schedule and I just like ever since then I kept sleeping late. But today I'll be finishing the rest of my deep cleaning to my apartment. This is the mess that we're currently working with. Um, yeah, it's not looking cute at all. But today before I do that, I have to stop by Jersey. Waking up to my place being clean made me feel so much better. I still have a lot of cleaning left to do. Like my bathroom is a mess right now and my closet. So that's the only two things I need to get done today. I'm going to New Jersey in an hour because this might sound crazy to some of you guys, but 
Okay, long story short, I have a neighbor. I'm not his friend, like we're just strangers, but I see him walking his dog one day. He's a puppy. I just remember the owner like yanking the dog and like yelling at the puppy. So like, I just remember like, oh my gosh, he's so rough with the dog. And then fast forward to like four months later, I see the same owner and the dog walking. The dog looks like it got, it got picked up at like a shelter because it was so like messy. The hair is like not and it's not like combed. It just doesn't look like the dog has been taken care of. And then last week I run into this owner with the same dog again. My dog goes up to the other dog and basically like sniffs her. So I take my chance and I like start petting the little dog. And oh my God, the dog is so knotted. When I felt this little skin, you can feel like all the furs being tangled up together. It was like dust everywhere, like leaves all over her. I told the owner, I was like, um, I think you should take your dog to the groomers. Her fur is really matted sir and he was like yeah like i bought a clipper recently and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna shave it down and i'm like excuse me you're gonna groom the dog yourself listen like i am no professional but i can tell for sure he's a first-time dog owner and first-time dog owners should not be shaving down your own dog especially if it's like a puppy i just felt really nervous for the dog so my gut instinct told me to stop this man from doing whatever he was going to do to this poor dog so i was like my family actually owns a grooming service in new jersey i can get your dog a free grooming if you want so that you don't have to do it yourself. And he was like, oh, that would be so nice. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I got his number, scheduled an appointment with some grooming service in New Jersey. That's definitely not my family's. I'm really excited to meet this puppy. It's a little black dog, a mini toy poodle is what he said. I'm so excited to meet her. I told him that I would come pick her up at 11. <gasps> it's 11 right now, oh my God, I should go right now. Okay, guys, I have to go. Chai, I'll be right back. Oh God, I'm nervous. Oh, hi, hey. Hello, oh my goodness, you're so cute. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Natalie, Natalie. Oh my God. Come here, yeah, it's okay. No, it's okay. Oh, it's okay, good girl, good girl. Oh guys, oh, she's scared. I'm like holding her by the stomach and there's so much knot on her stomach. I feel so bad. I'm gonna let my dog play with her outside in the hallway. Guys, this dog is fully lying on the floor. Let me take this off of you, okay? Good girl, honey. Oh God, she smells awful. Hey, honey bunny. taking her inside now. Let's see if she's potty trained because I forgot to ask him that. Come on, Natalie, let's go inside. You say hi to the camera. She's really small. Oh, baby, you really need a groom, don't you? Natalie, where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? Look how cute she is, guys. She's adorable. She just needs a really nice groom. They're already making a mess of my cow. I love that for me. You can only see her tongue from here. Isn't that the cutest thing, guys? Do you see her face? <laughs> no. She's like a little shadow. I know. She <laughs> she's looks like, like a mop. <laughs> she's so sweet, guys. She doesn't even know who I am and she's latched onto me. Already. I know. She like, like she's so calm. She's so literally the sweetest thing on earth. Oh, Chai, are you jealous? Chai's also getting You're groomed so today. Oh. oh goodness, Chai Chai. Doesn't she look like a nurse particle? She looks like she would be in the vents of my AC. You need a major glow up. Glow up with me in 24 hours. <laughs> do you want a dust particle or do you want a brand new dog? <laughs> She's so unbothered, I'm like shaking her. Around. We're gonna get you real cleaned up. Good girl, Chai! I love Surge! I love Surge! I'm getting the love surge from you. Love surge! And, and it explodes! <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys when I'm back from Jersey so that I can resume cleaning. And also, I'll keep you posted about Natalie and how, he, how she looks after she gets groomed. Natalie! 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 Natalie!
Chai is also getting groomed today, so this is her before. Watch out for her after. And so is my cute little Natalie. My little puppies. She's literally the sweetest thing on earth. This is her before. My heart is aching for her. I cannot wait for her to get groomed. She can't even see the world right now with her eyes covered. Guys, the weather is so beautiful out right now, but Natalie just threw up on my white sweater. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's all over down here on my pants. It's probably her first time in a car, so she's probably car sick right now. Guys, she threw up on me again. Natalie. <laughs> I feel wet from her puke. Guys, she's back. Look how cute she looks and look how small she is, guys. Oh my God. Natalie, you're a new dog. The groomer actually told me she was like, her skin condition is so bad. She had to basically shave down like all of it. If a professional didn't shave her, her skin would have ripped and she would have had to go to the emergency room, so. Natalie, you look like a different dog. And Chai also got a little shower and a little trim around her hair. Chai, look at me. <gasps> you look like such a pretty girl. <laughs> look at both of them. Now you dog. Take it to walk it now. I think Natalie feels so much better after being cut. She's way more relaxed now and she's about to fall asleep, guys. Guys, I am back home now, yay! I dropped off Natalie back to her own owner and the owner was so, so shocked at how different she looked, but he was so happy with how it, everything came out and he was super grateful, so that's really nice. Happy that I'm back so that I can finally get started with cleaning. I'm honestly really tired right now. Like I don't wanna clean, but also I feel like if I don't clean, I won't be able to fall asleep. But before I start cleaning, I just wanna show you guys what I got in Jersey. I, me and my mom just like came across this random dog store and I splurged on Chai guys. Like there were the cutest little toys ever. Like I just need to show you guys. So let's do a little haul of what I got Chai cause they are actually the most adorable things I've ever seen in my entire life. Look. Da da da, Chai! And Chai got a little haircut and she looks so cute. You look so good, honey. She's like, play with me right now. Hold on, Chai, let me let me show them what I got you. First things first, I got her natural chicken breasts. Next I got, okay, this is, this is adorable. I got a pizza box for Chai. And look. <gasps> They're little pizza slices! Like, how can I not get this? Some of them have squeaky stuff in it, like this one. Some of them don't, and you just rip it apart. Chai's been playing with this before, and she loves it so much. That's what we got for one of their treats. Next, I got this really cute roll cake. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a roll cake. It's like a little puzzle for Chai. I put treats inside, and she has to get it out of these holes. Chai is so excited right now. She loves the roll cake. And then all I'm gonna do is roll it up. Roll it up, put it inside, stick it on. Ta da! Here's your roll cake, Chai. Okay, the next one I got is this toilet paper toy, and oh my god, I literally almost fainted when I saw this because it was the cutest thing ever. Like, I don't even want to open this hot packaging. Like, the packaging itself is so cute. Basically, it's a toilet paper roll. Chai, when she was younger, she used to play with my toilet papers all the time, and now she gets to play with her own toilet paper unlimitedly. Look, guys. <laughs> I'm about to cry. Are you kidding me? There's little pockets inside where she can get all her treats in and like try to get everything out. So this is freaking amazing. Look how long it is too. Like, oh my God. I'm gonna need to buy like two of this because holy crap. Look, look at this. Chai. Guys, Chai finished all of this up. So now she's doing the toilet paper roll. Let's see if she gets it. This one's a toughie, huh? Okay, and the next toy I got for her is this little yubu chupap. I don't want to throw out the container because it's just so cute. It's basically little yubu chupap toys where you can unstick it. It's separate, it comes like this. 
so cute. Pringles, and it's spelled Plingles because she's she has to pull it. The packaging it too. You can never get these things at Petco. Like Petco, you need to step it up. Step it up with the dog toys. Sorry, no hate to Petco. It makes little noises, and she can pull it this way and pull it this way. It's like a little rope. Got her a blue bone, and then this. Sniff toy, this sniff mat is the last thing I got. This was pretty expensive. You can put treats inside here. She's gonna have to like bang it around to, for the treats to come out. And then I can hide little stuff in here. So many little pockets where she can sniff and get it. Did you find a treat? I think she found something. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna clean my bathroom. It's the most terrifying for me, so. I'm gonna start with the sink. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of stuff going on on there, and it's quite nasty, so I'm really, really, like, I don't wanna do this, but I just gotta get it over with, so. Let's get started! My sink is clean! Now, time for the freaking shower. First, I'm gonna be removing everything in my sh disgusting shower right now. It's like, I don't even wanna be here. <sighs> Yay, you just cleaned it off. I'm just gonna spray it all down. Oh, I'm not trying to be dramatic, guys. I changed into my PJs. I'm obsessed with this PJ. I took a shower, changed into my PJs because I literally felt so gross after cleaning my bathroom. Like, I just can't. But I'm so happy that I'm done and my bathroom's literally so clean right now. I can probably eat off the floor even though I would never do that. As you guys can see, I have a big pile of laundry. Clean laundry. It's literally 11 p.m., guys. I need to sleep. I need to end this video ASAP. So I'm gonna time myself within like 20 minutes at the latest, so let's go. Okay. Yay! I'm all ready for bed! Yay! Oh my god. Cleaning my entire apartment was definitely not the easiest, but it feels so good now that it's over. So I highly recommend you guys to do this on a Sunday. Definitely be mentally prepared for it though, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.